Hi guys, welcome back to The Contented Plant. Today we are going to talk all about the Haworthia zebra plant. You can see where it gets its name. It has these really, really adorable little stripes up and down the leaves that kind of give it that zebra-like appearance. This is a super easy plant to care for, so let's get started. So these little plants are native to South Africa. They are in the succulent family. They like to dry out a lot between waterings, just like most succulent plants. I only water this one once every two to three weeks in the summertime, and in the wintertime, it can even go a little bit longer, three weeks to a month, depending on your conditions indoors. I really like to let the soil dry out on this one. With the succulents, a big part of losing them is root rot because you're overwatering. When you overwater these plants, you're gonna find that the stems start to rot at the base. They can get really mushy, kind of translucent and yellow and just rot off. And you do not want that for your cute little zebra plant. So make sure you are only watering it when the soil is dried out completely. For the soil mix, you're gonna want one that does not hold on to a lot of water. Do not plant this one in straight potting soil. You will be risking root rot. This one is gonna do best in a cactus soil, or you can find a soil that's very well draining and has kind of a sandy base. So this little plant is going to want bright indirect light, but not too much direct light. You can get away with growing this one a little bit away from that direct sunlight. If you give it too much sunlight, you can risk burning the leaves on it. This one actually did get a tiny bit burned. You can see that the tip here is a little bit brown because I did have it in a window that had just a little too much light. So I've since moved it back and the new growth is all green with no brown on the tips. You can see that this plant has a really nice vibrant green color. If you don't have enough light on those leaves, it will start to fade to a lighter green and not have that really pretty coloring. So make sure that you are carefully watching it so that it is in the proper lighting conditions. These plants are very slow growing and they don't really get a whole lot bigger than this. A full size plant is only going to be five to eight inches at the most. So this guy is probably not gonna get a whole lot taller. It will start to put off little pups in the soil as it matures and grows, and you can propagate those pups out and plant them in their separate pot to have more zebra plants. Since this is a slow growing plant, it doesn't need to be repotted very often. This one has been in its nursery pot for well over a year, and it's getting to the point now that I will probably repot it soon, but it's been quite happy just sitting in the nursery pot. Make sure that when you do repot it, you're always repotting it into a pot with a drainage hole. These are gonna be very sensitive to overwatering. You don't want waterlogged soil sitting at the bottom of your pot. If you live in an area that is really warm, like Arizona, somewhere that's dry and warm, you can get away with growing this plant outdoors. You can either set it outside in a pot directly, or you can go ahead and plant it in a flower bed. Just make sure if you do put it outside that you bring it in before winter if you live in an area that gets cold, especially before any frost. This is just about one of the easiest plants that I've ever had to care for. Honestly, I sometimes forget that it's even alive at all because it's just content. It just kind of hangs out and it's a no fuss plant. It's great for beginner plant parents. It's really not very susceptible to pests. It doesn't really get spider mites like a lot of the big leafed plants. It can get mealybugs, which kind of will suck right onto the side of the leaves and they will suck the sap out of the leaves. So if your plant looks like it's having trouble with pests or the leaves look damaged, always check for mealybugs. They can kind of hide underneath these little rosettes here. For fertilizing this plant, you can use a cactus fertilizer. I like to fertilize it in the spring and summer during the growing seasons. Since it is a very slow growing plant, I would not fertilize it during the winter. You don't wanna risk over fertilizing and burning the roots. So to recap really quick, you want this plant in bright indirect light. You do not want it in too much direct sunlight. Always make sure that it is in well-draining soil. A cactus-based soil is best for this plant. 
You can repot it when the roots start coming out of the pot or if it looks like it's really outgrowing a pot, but that's probably not gonna be happening very often. Once every two to three years, it will probably need a new pot. Fertilize it during the growing seasons. And when you do water this plant, make sure that you're only watering the soil. I like to bottom water this plant. That way you don't risk getting water inside of these little sections of the leaves that can actually rot the plant as well because that water doesn't dry out very fast. It can just sit in there and it can rot the crown of the plant. So make sure you either bottom water it, which is you put a bowl out, place the plant in the bowl and it will just soak up the water it needs to the bottom of the pot or use a small watering can and only water the soil that's on the perimeter around the leaves, not on top of the leaves. Okay, that's all I have on the cute little Haworthia zebra plant. If you guys have any questions, please put them down below and I will do my best to answer them for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you next time at The Contented Plant. Bye-bye.